Hi, and welcome. I'm Dr. Cecil Reynolds. Uh, I'm the author of the Reynolds Intellectual Assessment Scales, both the first and second editions. And I want to thank you for joining me today to learn about all of the things we've been doing for the last five years to turn the RIOS into the RIOS II. I want to talk first about the goals for the development of the Reynolds Intellectual Assessment Scales and also about some added goals for the new version, the RIOS II. When Randy and I set out to develop the Reynolds Intellectual Assessment Scales, we determined that we wanted to provide the practitioner with a reliable and valid measurement of general intelligence, widely referred to as G, and its two major components. Randy and I conceptualize those as verbal and nonverbal intelligence, but many people prefer to use CHC theory and think of crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. And the RIOS can be conceptualized that way just as well. Then we wanted to be sure that we gave you a practical measurement device in terms of the efficacies of time, direct costs, and the information that you need from a measure of intelligence. We also wanted to have continuity of measurement across developmental levels from ages three through 90. So we've been able to produce one test that will allow you to assess children and adults beginning at three all the way up to age 90. We also wanted to reduce or eliminate dependence on speed of performance and motor skills in assessing intelligence. And we've done that. We do not have any speeded tasks that are a component of the intelligence assessment on the RIOS II. We also eliminated from our view of intelligence any dependence upon reading by the examinee for measurement of their IQ. We wanted to give you accurate prediction of academic achievement that's comparable to intelligence tests that are much longer, and we've accomplished that as well. For the RIOS II, we also wanted to respond to the field and respond to our dedicated users. We've had a lot of comments from people who use the RIOS a great deal over the years. And in response to their comments, we've updated the item content. We removed some items that you guys just didn't like. And we were responsive to that. And we've added new content. We extended both the floor and the ceiling by adding some easier items because folks wanted to be able to measure lower IQs for younger kids. And we've added harder items to raise the IQ level that we can actually measure. We've modified the ceiling rules. This was the number one request that we received from RIOS users, was when you revise the test, please alter the ceiling rules. We heard you, we did it. We also added, in response to your request, a speeded processing index. And we added this in the spirit of the RIOS by creating a greatly motor reduced processing speed set of tasks. We've also updated the norms to be consistent with current census data. The speeded processing index is the biggest change to the RIOS. So for RIOS 2, we now have both a verbal and a nonverbal speeded processing task. Speeded naming is the verbal task. This measures the ability to differentiate verbally and name stimuli under time constraints. They have 60 seconds, and the raw score is how many they can name correctly during that time period. Then the nonverbal task we call speeded picture search. This measures the ability to differentiate nonverbally stimuli under time constraints, where they have to identify only three targets in an array on a full page. They have five minutes on this, and the raw score again is time to completion. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this was of some benefit to you, and look forward to your feedback on the new RIOS, the RIOS II. Thank you.